Unusual facts, and today, useful facts. We're going to tell you about seven everyday things you've been doing wrong. And your life is going to get better after watching this video. So watch all the way to the end so you don't miss a single fact. Because at the end of this video, we've got one you don't want to miss about exercise. <laughs> all right, let's start with mistake number one. If you're working Without a plan for lunch, you're making a big mistake. We know you have a ton of work to do. Deadlines are pushing you to the limits. Feeling productive and working through the lunch hour really has nothing to do with effectiveness. So give yourself a break. Use the lunch hour to relax, eat something healthy and delicious. You're gonna feel an energy boost that will make you power through to finish that job even more efficiently. I love food. But here's mistake number two, adding oil to pasta water. You may add oil to the pasta water to prevent the pasta from sticking to the bottom of the pan or sticking to itself, right? But that's a mistake because when you do that, you prevent the sauce from sticking to the pasta. And what good is pasta without sauce? So cooking the pasta to perfection is all about the right amount of water and pasta. Try one liter of water per 100 grams of dry pasta or 1.5 liters of water to 100 grams of fresh pasta. If you've already learned something new, make sure you like this video, give us a thumbs up so we know you're interested in more information like this. Here's mistake number three, excessive use of soap in the shower. Your body changes with your age, your skin gets drier, and when you overuse soap, these things will make your skin even worse. Soap contributes to the dry condition of your skin, so minimize the use of soap if you want to prevent your skin from drying out. And don't forget to use moisturizer after every shower. Mistake number four, breathing with your chest. Here's a little fun fact. Oxygen is not liquid. You knew that. You cannot, though, fill up your lungs from the bottom up. Oxygen that you inhale every day has an incredible effect on your nervous system. It does a great job reducing inflammation and pain on a daily basis. It's good for lowering your blood pressure. By regulating the breathing, you're going to improve your overall physical health. That's why you need to use your diaphragm for breathing and not your chest. Here's a little bonus information, as I've seen a vocal coach recently, and we talked a lot about breathing. You definitely wanna fill up your belly, and you want then the last thing to fill up is your chest, and you don't wanna pull your shoulders up as you breathe. That's not exactly the right way to do it. Okay, here's another bonus tip for you. Short breaths will kind of activate a stress signal in your body, while deep breaths that fill up your belly are gonna calm you down. So give it a couple tries. When you're stressed out next time, make sure you take a deep breath that starts filling up from your belly and ends with your chest. Mistake number five, brushing your teeth using horizontal movements. I have been doing it wrong my whole life. All right. That's an issue, and also, forgetting to floss may be one of the worst things you can do for your oral health. Proper brushing includes short and vertical movements performed right from the gums to the edge of your teeth. You need to brush your teeth for up to three minutes. Mistake number six, drying your hands with a paper towel. Everybody dries their hands with a paper towel. I do it. You do it, everybody does it, especially when we're in the kitchen. We're using loads of paper towels every day, and that's a big problem for the environment. If you don't like to use fiber towels, then shake your hands thoroughly before you use paper towels. That way, you won't have to use as many. And this is one way you can improve for yourself and help save the planet. And here we are with our last unusual fact for this video, but I want you to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss another video. We are getting ramped up and we've got loads of information we wanna share with you. So here's mistake number seven that you've been making and you need to change right away. Exercising without stretching. 
No, it's not a waste of time. You're not going to stretch too much along with your exercises. You really should do a little bit of a warm-up session because if you don't, it's harmful to your body. So if you make a mistake of not warming up and stretching a little bit, you know, lightly before your exercise, you could risk the chance of injury and then that would prevent you from exercising for a while because you'll need to take a break. So. Why don't you perform a short warm-up session? It will increase your flexibility. A few mild, light stretches will give your muscles bigger benefits. Thanks for watching another video filled with unusual facts. We appreciate you're here all the way to the end. Share this video with your friends if you found it interesting, exciting, and educational. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let us know about other topics that you might want to learn more about and just don't have the time to research yourself. We'd love to do it for you. We love learning new things and we are happy to provide that information to you. Thanks for watching this video filled with unusual facts.